Welcome to Seal Deals. Forklifts started gaining favor with farmers 25 to 30 years ago as producers began employing hard tired factory floor lifts. The convenience of forklifts offered attracted attention, so much so that a great many indoor lifts can be found in farms today. Farmers then began casting their eyes toward rough terrain forklifts, who higher clearances and greater lift capacities extend their use out to the yards and fields. That's why I've selected this JCB 930 on today's Steel Deal Report. This forklift represents an entry-level machine many farmers could afford and that has an open operator station to wheel drive and shuttle shifting. Work-wise, this JCB is a mid-range machine with a load capacity of 6,000 pounds, but buying a lift is fraught with challenges. This is due to the fact that most rough terrain lifts come from the trades where employees, not the machine owner, runs the equipment. And these machines are often run year-round and often face harder service than most farm machinery. That's why it's crucial to conduct a thorough inspection of used lifts before buying them. Now to get some pointers on forklift inspection and used values, let's go talk to an expert at Weeman Auction before our JCB sells. I'm talking with Kevin Weeman and we're looking at that JCB 930, Kevin. The problem with forklifts like that, and that has some age, and you told me it's gone around the country a little bit, is it doesn't look that bad, but should I be worried if I'm buying a forklift like that? I guess it would depend on the application you're buying it for. You know, if it's strictly farm use, load a little seed, that sort of thing. But if it's going to be heavy day in and day out use, I think you want to do a real good inspection of it before you buy it. Now, Kevin, if I wanted to get some background information on that, do I start with you? That'd be a good point. Uh, if we would give you the buyer's uh, or the seller's name right. out, and you can talk to them. Sometimes with this equipment, it's been around the track, so you might only find out where they bought it if it came from another auction or whatever. But a lot of this later model equipment, you can trace the serial number and find the pedigree on it. Now. But you guys have some expertise, too, because you'll sell a few forklifts out here. I mean, you're mostly farm machinery, but they do show up. Yeah, we sell construction equipment. Uh, our motto, if you look on our business site, is we sell the earth and everything on it. And we try <laughs> to keep that going. So a forklift would qualify. You've got some background information. You'd be able to... You like to be transparent in the stuff you're selling. Absolutely. Everything we do here, we're a third generation auction company, and I don't want to do anything that jeopardizes what my grandpa and my dad did to get this business started. Yeah, so if somebody wants to know what's going on with that forklift, at least you'd give them a decent opinion on it to know. Right, and, and a lot of the equipment that's at our lot, if one of the Weemans don't, one of our hired help will come out, and we try to drive everything, check it over. Now, the question on that forklift is, is I'm coming here, I'm gonna look at it, what should I give or what kind of a range? Because, man, I looked at prices and they were ranging from 3,000 to 30,000. So how does one figure out what my top bid is? The biggest thing with forklifts is there are the bushings wore in the mass, are the side shift are components, are they still working? Are the brakes solid? Because they get used brakes all the time. And the other thing with the JCB is if the transmission and the torque converter is solid in it. Oh, so they've had a history of having a problem. And there's a lot of JCB loaders out there for sale. Yes, there are. Now, I pick that loader as opposed to a factory floor loader because there seems to be more interest in the rough terrain, right? Because it allows you to go out in the field. Absolutely, you got more uh, things that you can do with it. And once you have a forklift on an ag farm that you never had before, you'll be surprised how many things you're using it for. So if you had to hazard a guess, what would you think would be a nice range or top bid that thing will bring today? Um, my guess, uh, knowing kind of what we've sold them for in the past, I'd be 5,000 on the bottom, 7,500 on the top. Well, let's go watch that JCP sell. $6,000, that's a child dollar, now 65, now seven, that's $7,000. I got the internet in at six, you gotta be seven. That's seven down dollar here, but he gets seven. I'm at 6,000, get up at 65, now seven. That's 65, get up at seven here, but he's 65, get up at seven. That's seven down dollar here, that's seven down dollar here, but he, I got 67 and a half, you gotta be seven thousand dollar. Now 72 and a half, you're not in, Ron. That's 72 and a half, that's 72 and a half here, but he gets seven, get up at two and a half. 72 and a half. 75, you're in the towel. That's 7,500 here. I got 72 and a half, get up at 75. That's 7,500 here, but he gets 75. 7,500. That's 75 there, but he gets 70. 
72, you're in, 72 and a half. Internet, you're out, give 7,500. Gonna be the next item sold, give 7,500. That's 7,500 here, now 77 and a half. And now $8,000, $8,000, you're gonna be eight, eight. I got, now I got 77 and a half, I want $8,000. 8,000, 82 and a half. 82 and a half, 82 and a half here, but it can be, but it can be 82 and a half, uh, but eight, go to be two and a half here, a little quicker if you could, 8,000, 82 and a half, uh, but eight, go to be 82 and a half, but it can be 85, 8,500 here, 83, 84, 83, but it can be 84, uh, but 83, but it can four, uh, but 83, but it can four, four, but it can four here, but it can be 83 and four, 83, 84, all in, all done, 83, 84, sold them out, 8,300, our JCB 930 just finished selling, bringing a final bid of $8,300. Now, how does that compare to similar lifts? Well, a 1987 930 recently sold in California for just $3,500, while a 2013 model went in New York for $30,000. Now, that's too wide a range to provide a price comparison. So many things impact rough terrain lift values, how it is equipped. Is it a two or three mass machine? Whether it offers two or four wheel drive? And more importantly, hours and conditions, especially conditions. Before buying a forklift, you should call its owner and ask how it was employed and maintained, and then inspect every major aspect of the machine. Examine the entire length of the mass, looking for weld repairs and general structural condition. Examine the mass rollers and lift chains for their overall condition. Start the forklift, operating the mask, and driving it around. I hope those pointers help you in your hunt for a rough terrain forklift. For more information about Weeman Auctions, you can go to their website at WeemanAuction.com. I'll see you next week on another Steel Deals Report. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video. And click here to see more great videos.